guys, it's your boy Chip back at you from RBA Bakes, and today we got a good one for you. It's the Paranormal DNA 250 Replay Mode. Today we are talking about the Paranormal DNA 250C, and this one's from Lost Vape. As you can see, a nice gift box type packaging you got going on here. Now this thing is something that we're going to talk about very in depth, but you've got your card there for your uh, quick guide, you've got obviously your manual, your warranty card, and then this is the star of the show. Get a little better look at it here in a minute. And then this is a pearl fish kind of leather-esque type grip. You got your swing battery door there. So let's go ahead and throw some of them batteries up in that jump. Slide that door closed. Five clicks and there she goes. So right off the bat you can see it's in replay mode. And then you select your middle or select button there and that highlights that. And then you can go to wattage, wattage boost mode, nickel 200, titanium, 316 stainless steel, 430 stainless steel, and canthal. And we're going to go, we're going to select watts, go down to the actual number, click the select button, and you can adjust up and down. This guy's got all the features that you would expect from a DNA, but the newest feature from the 250C is this replay mode. So, the replay mode. Now the way the replay mode works is you want to capture your perfect puff. So that means if you hit it one time and it's just the best you've ever hit it and it, nothing quite like it, you can go into this replay mode and save that puff. And what that'll do is recreate that exact same power output so that you get the same hit every single time. So the coolest thing that I really like about this is all the different features. So you've got Canthal mode, which is set specifically for Canthal, or stainless steel 430, 316, titanium, nickel, and it's got this wattage boost mode, which is a new function. So you set your wattage to 50, and then you go into your settings here, you've got your boost, you can turn that on or off, and then the punch. So this is a numeric between 0 and 11 and basically it's kind of like 10% per per number if you will so you get a little bit more boost a little bit more punch the higher you go up and that's going to ramp it up just that much faster so you can see I'm got it in Canthal mode here and this is for the Canthal coil that's in here got it at 52 watts nice smooth hit on this guy and you can see when I open up the diagnostics now, it is in real time. So as I push the button, you'll see all the numbers change. Power, temperature, resistance, the voltage that it's outputting, the amps that the battery is pushing. So the output is 3.1, the amps is 18.4, the battery voltage is 8.2, and then the board temp is 86. And we're not charging it, so there's nothing on the USB. And of course your standard wattage mode, oops, if I hit the right button there, and then back to your replay. And we're going to talk about the replay a little bit more in the, the top section of this. But for all of you out there that have been wondering, that is the menu on the DNA 250C. Very similar to the 75, just with some new added features. Alright guys, so now that you've seen the up close look, we're going to pull back and talk about what everybody wants to talk about. Um, obviously this device from Lost Vape is beautifully made. It's got something ridiculous like 16 or 18 different color variations between the frame casing itself, the grip part on the back, and the panels on the side. Now, I did 
see that there was some conflicting information out there about whether or not the panels were removable, if you're going to get more than one pair in the box. Everything that I could find with the 250Cs, you get what you get. It's all, you know, inserted panels and all that good stuff. Um, I believe the confusion is because the 166 or 167 had the swappable panels, so you got an extra set of panels with, the, with them. But with these ones, I can't find anything that says definitively that that is supposed to be the case. And obviously the ones that we have here, their panels don't have spares and they're not removable. So that clears that up. I'm going to throw the color options up here right now so you can see all of the various different finishes, colors, all that good stuff. It, it's ridiculous. It's something like, where is it at? So you got three different options of premium accented leather, four different options of inlays, plus you got your stainless steel or your gunmetal zinc alloy die cast C frames. It's just bananas. Look at your dimensions here, guys. You got 91 and a half millimeters top to bottom. You got 55 millimeters width wise and then 27 and a half deep. It is slightly beveled, so I would say probably like a 25 millimeter Addy would be the biggest that I would put on there without, you know, having to come up with that overhang. But I did put the triple 28 on here and the overhangs just a bit. So unless that's something that like really, really bugs you, I wouldn't worry about it too much with this guy. DNA 250C obviously only does 200 watts with the dual 18650 configuration. Um, the fit and finish on this thing is phenomenal. I'm really a big fan of this paranormal door. It just slides out and it's spring loaded, but it feels like it's got a nice thick spring to it. Um, you know, this happens to be the pearl fish back here with the chopped carbon and the gunmetal. Very, very sexy looking, if I do say so myself. Um, it's got all of your temperature control modes. Let's scroll through them real quick here so I don't miss anything. Uh, wattage, you got your wattage boost mode. Nickel 200, titanium, stainless steel 316, stainless steel 430, canthal, and of course, the replay mode. But we're going to talk about that a little bit more in a minute. You do have your boost options so you can boost between level 1 and level 11 on this guy. The USB can be used as a charging bank. We tested this, didn't test it very thoroughly, I'm not going to lie, but it does work. Um, I don't know that I would rely on that necessarily, but, you know, it's a cool little added bonus, I guess you could say. So, let's get into how it vapes, first of all. Being that it's a DNA 250C, this chip vapes phenomenally. Super accurate. Um, with the boost, I can adjust how quick it ramps up, so that's super lovely. And, of course, with all DNAs, you go down here, you click on your settings menu, and you've got, you hit your settings menu, and you've got a ridiculous amount of little features there. That's just, your atomizer tells you the power, if you got temp on, if the boost is on, what the punch is on the boost. Um, you got a puff info, and it's got your real-time uh, kind of graph calendar there. Check that out. Real-time. That's cool shit. What else we got? Diagnostics. Tells you everything that's going on with the device itself. So you got all kinds of cool information there. Look at that information uh, system. Obviously, the brightness. All that good stuff, date, time, blah, blah, blah. And you can even see your, your chip number and all that good stuff. But at the end of the day, this is what everybody wants to know. What's up with the replay mode? So I played with this a little bit. And basically what, I, what I've come to see is that the replay mode is a new version, a universal temperature control. So you set up the replay mode by simply going to replay then you want to set your wattage we got 33 on here put some juice on here real quick so i set my wattage up at 33 now remember guys this is a temperature control function so you have to be using uh, titanium nickel stainless steel some type of temperature control uh, coil 
or wire for this to actually work and for it to pick up on the ability to replay the setting or replay the hit so now we got it juiced up we're just going to take a pull and you see it popped up right there it says save puff so I'm going to go down hit the select button and then now it switches and it says playing and then down here it says cancel so that hit that I just took whichever hit that I like the best is now saved so the power outputs and basically the graph that you saw that when I hold down the button how the power is pushed out through the chip that is now going to be replicated every time I push the button until something changes that's it it's the simplest form of temperature control I've ever seen I don't know why somebody didn't think of this earlier maybe they did and they're just working on it but kudos to you Evolve this is probably the easiest temperature control setting I've ever messed with in my life I don't have to worry about what temperature is set it on I don't have to worry about making sure that the wire I'm using has got the right TCR in it any of that nonsense I just set it up whatever wattage I want like maybe I want to turn it up you know I wasn't quite as much vapor as I normally get so I'm gonna go down to cancel there then I'm gonna go back up to my wattage select that let's turn it up to 35 feeling crazy today I forgot it only does tenths hold please there we go so now we got it turned up to 35 right Bam, a little bit denser, a little bit more flavor. Go back down, save puff. Now it's playing. That's all there is to it. It's not, you don't have to like freak out. Like they took all the best things about this board and turned it up, upside down and inside out. It is so simple and easy to set up. And check out the coolest part is it's actually going to recognize the uh, temperature setting whatever setting it's on and so it's not going to uh, burn out the cotton see as it's drying out less and less vapor see that beautiful 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 if you're into temp control, you've got to check out one of these DNA 250C boards. It is the best thing going for temperature control. Uh, I'm sure Basardo is going to hook it up to all his fancy oscilloscopes and make sure that it's doing what it's doing. Because I know in the past, the low resistance has given the Evolve board problems. But I have a feeling that the 250C at lower resistance is probably going to be phenomenal. Because that's really what they've focused on with this new chip is the temperature control and making sure that it is accurate and as easy to use as possible so for that i have to give them two very enthusiastic thumbs up honestly if i had a third thumb i'd go ahead and pop that up too because this is phenomenal so easy to use works every time and anybody can do temperature control now guys it's super super simple and I know a lot of you are like, why are you have it at 35 watts? This is actually a 0.5 stainless steel coil. So it works above 0.2, which is interesting. I honestly didn't uh, know how that was going to play out. But it seems like it's working just as advertised. So rock on to, the, to them. The only other thing I want to talk about is the price point on this guy. So I know a lot of you um, haven't maybe had the opportunity or been able to afford a DNA chip brand new but this is the cheapest that I've ever seen a brand new DNA 200 250 250c this is a MSRP at 150 bucks guys 150 bucks these things used to be MSRP of over $200 not even a year ago and that was without the replay mode that was without the color screen um, so the the advancement in technology the wonderful fit and finish from our friends at uh lost vape there you can see it is a beautiful beautiful de device and it feels nice and substantial in the hand um 
but overall this thing is top notch if you want the latest and greatest if you want cutting edge vape technology the paranormal 250c is the device for you that being said we're going to go ahead and throw our coupon code up right here Shh, don't tell anyone we're not actually supposed to discount these but you don't tell i don't tell you know what i mean um, you can get that at shop.rvavapes.com and um, I think that's pretty much all I got for this review you know I just, a lot of people are asking about the replay mode um, and I just wanted to, to give you a short little video to show you how it works what it does that way it kind of demystifies the whole situation for you there um, but we got Ask a Vapor coming up, not this Tuesday, but the Tuesday after. So make sure you check that out. It's our monthly wet live web series that basically answers all your vape related questions. As always, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you click that subscribe button and sign up for all of our notifications. That way you can see our new videos every Saturday. Um, please, please, please subscribe to our channel subscriptions is the only way that we can keep doing what we're doing so if you like what you see and you want to see more please subscribe to our channel we are going to have another giveaway coming up with the next video so stay tuned for that and last but certainly not least guys if you want to smoke that's your business if you don't 